Hi everybody, welcome to our uh, video number two. We're going to cover over, uh, go over some helpful forms and processes that is easily located on Forms or Us. So let's go ahead and let's go to the list of forms. Let me go ahead and get out of this. So you can see the entire screen. Now you've already um, you've already logged on to Forms or Us, and you've either clicked um, well either St. Louis or St. Charles. And and so what I really want to show you is eventually we're going to be going through every single one of these. Fun, fun, right? But at the very very bottom is some very useful tools that I would like to see in everybody's uh, packages that you present to either a seller or a buyer. And it's full of great information and just stuff that you can really use. So let's cover a few of them. The very first one that I want to cover is uh, the overview of the home buying and selling process. This is something that you, again, want to print out in every single packet. And it's a very simple definition of kind of what to expect, you know, what is a residential sales contract, pre-qualification letter. I might even go as far as maybe highlighting that. And uh, financing contingency is always a big one. Closing statement. But this kind of gives them an opportunity to read through it their own leisure. This is something you can include in the packet or this is something that you can also include in your online packet. A lot of agents do different things. I've always kind of made it a habit to send over some initial in information before I would have a buyer consultation or a listing um, presentation. So kind of get them a feel of what to expect, kind of give them a outline of what's going to happen and what your goals are, you know, um, when getting together. Okay, so that's something, again, an overview of the home buying and selling process. Let's go back. Another cool one is um, the take, don't take property insurance for granted. Again, that clause in, um, I believe it's 10A, very, very important. As you guys, if this not has, uh, hasn't happened to you yet, but... Um, Send off for the insurance. Have your buyer look into and call the insurance company as soon as possible. For Let me give you a nightmare situation. Your buyer writes an offer. You have went through the um, inspection period and you negotiated everything is set for closing. Well, the insurance company wasn't called until the very last minute. The insurance guy c goes out to inspect, looks at the roof and says it's a no-go. And um, come to find out the seller made a claim, but didn't put the roof on the home. So guess what happens? There has to be a new roof on that house before closing. So make sure this happens before your client makes an investment of a building inspection is a really good idea. So there's just some different things for them to think about. Um, and again, I would recommend having at least two to three insurance uh, companies for them to refer to, especially if it's a first time home buyer, you want them to own that decision and that process. Um, in, in the past, I've had, you know, particular, you will use this lender, you will use this insurance company. And sometimes guys, they can backfire on you. If they don't get the best service or they don't get the pricing they want, it was your recommendation. So kind of be careful for that with that. Um, another good idea is doing an eight and a half by 11 of meet the team and then have your preferred people on the front with their pictures and a mini bio. And then maybe the second and third page, you'll have your second and third choices. Just a thought. And again, it's a great branding tool and um, to go into the packets and all that. So let's see what else we have on here. Not so much anymore, but we still, of course, this is mandatory. And this is um, actually on your lead-based paint. Uh, they ask if they've received these. So if you want, go ahead and, again, send all this in a, in a PDF. Send this in an email. And then do maybe some nicer branding with it or whatever you want, you want to do. But all this stuff, save yourself some time. This is all prepared for you. 
Okay. Now, again, out in St. Charles County, with a lot of our business, most homes were built over, you know, past 1978. But again, this it makes you look organized and being proactive. So it's great to handle objections before they come become objections. All right. So let's see what else is cool on here. Um. One thing I did want to show you, especially for the newer agents, is something that I uploaded on the pipeline and reference. Let's go there real quick. Because I'm all about the checklist to stay organized. And another thing um, with checklists and, and flow charts and explanations, uh, on Peak, there's some pretty nice uh, printouts of the process of a, an actual transa transaction. If somebody wants something a little bit more pretty or more color, also, too, I will be uploading the listing presentation. I know a lot of us are coaching with the paperless agent. Um, their listing presentation also has a nice little colorful flow chart. But back to, let's see where that is. For you newer agents or a tad bit insecure about the process, um, on the Missouri State site, it, uh, transaction checklist is provided. Now, you can kind of create whatever you want, but this will give you an idea of uh, kind of everybody involved in some just different different reminders of what needs to take place and this and this and that. Now, I never recommend you getting the sellers or the buyers social security numbers. Um, that's kind of old school. Uh, we actually kind of rely on the title company to contact them directly because we never want to be responsible for that. But kind of give you an idea, this is it covers broker's relationship, um, you know, your listing agreement, effective date, expiration dates, and then you're always going to transpose this to maybe the MLS when you enter the listing, seller disclosure statement, date completed. Another thing that I like to do is, um, and it could be something as simple as a Google reminder. And I know paperless, uh, pipeline has one as well, but in a Google reminder, you can actually set yourself a reminder of when that building inspection is coming due or when the financing contingency is, uh, is coming due. And you're thinking, oh, well, that's not a big deal. It is such a huge deal, especially if you're in a multiple offer situation or your buyer has put down substantial earnest money. So, but you know, bottom line, guys, it's about customer service and we're all going for five star service for that repeat business. So it matter if it's an $80,000 home or it's a million dollar home, everybody deserves the very best. So um, just something for you to kind of look through and kind of keep yourself accountable. And you can do this virtually. You can create something like this virtually. But um, so anyways, there's a couple of really quick forms. It's just a, a really short little video that I just want you to kind of even take a look at. And the last but not least thing I want to share with you, and we have different versions on this. And we're actually going to get something that's a little bit easier to... Um, you know, write in, I think, and I don't know who did it, but somebody converted this to a Word doc that you can actually fill this out online. This is one of my pet peeves because for a while there it just seemed like I was getting 50 million phone calls on who's getting paid what, who is getting paid commission, what's the commission, who's paying for the warranty. Your broker or your office manager should never be responsible for those phone calls. So this is why I always emphasize that this particular document, and there's different versions of this, this is only one that we have available, this should be on the top of your packet when you send it to the title company. This is your Bible. This lets the title company know who all the players are, who's getting paid what, who's going to be the loan officer, What's the seller's name? How they're going to get in contact with them if something is being needed to run title? You know, payoffs, huge, huge, huge. So this gives them all the easy button for contact. Contact information is the key. So there's, a, again, a brief uh, summary of some things that you guys need to kind of, I just wanted to make you aware that they're available. 
And um, so anyway, if you have any questions, give us a call and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.